my name is Anya and I'm a registered dietitian with Fraser Health in British Columbia. Today we're going to be talking about tube feeding at home. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to feed yourself using the syringe method. Please refer to the booklet provided by your dietitian that includes information specific to you. To make the process easier, gather all of your supplies before you begin your feeding. You will need two syringes, your formula, a measuring cup, a container filled with room temperature tap water, and a small towel to cover your lap to catch any drips or small spills. Wash your hands before you begin feeding yourself. This will help keep your supplies clean and prevent the transfer of potentially harmful bacteria that could make you sick. Position yourself to be upright during feeding. Whether you sit in a comfortable chair or at a kitchen table, the idea is not to be lying flat. If you are in bed, use pillows to prop yourself up to at least a 30 degree angle. Try not to slouch or lie flat as this could result in formula going up into your esophagus or even into your lungs. Place the towel on your lap. Flushing your G-tube before feeding yourself helps to clear anything that might be blocking it. Using your syringe, draw up the recommended amount of water or at least 30 milliliters from the container. Clamp or pinch the G-tube with your fingers to prevent stomach content from leaking out. Uncap the feeding port and insert the tip of the syringe. Release the clamp or unpinch the G-tube before gently pressing the plunger to push the water through. Once again, clamp or pinch your G-tube before removing the syringe from the feeding port and replace the cap. Measure the recommended amount of formula into the measuring cup. Using the second syringe, draw up formula to fill the syringe. Clamp or pinch your G-tube before you remove the cap of your feeding port. Insert the tip of the filled syringe into the feeding port. Release the clamp or unpinch the G-tube before gently pressing the plunger to push the formula through. Once again, clamp or pinch your G-tube before removing the syringe and replace the cap. Repeat this process until you use all of your formula. The final step is to flush your G-tube once more to clear it of all the formula. This will help prevent a blockage. Follow the same steps as you did to flush your G-tube before you started feeding. Your feeding is now complete. All that is left to do is clean and put away your supplies and remain upright for at least 30 minutes. If you experience any issues with your feeding, contact your dietitian or your doctor.